Hey everybody, this is Tim McDonald, inviting you to join me as I explore a new story about our changing planet. How man-made climate change is making it more difficult for millions of people across Sub-Saharan Africa to feed their families and make a living growing food. I'm a multimedia environmental journalist who spent the last five years covering climate change for Mother Jones magazine. During that time, I had the opportunity to report from a few African countries, and I was struck by how many people told me stories about climate change that weren't abstract or happening way off in the future. They were about impacts that are happening right now. So I'm about to set off on a Fulbright National Geographic Storytelling Fellowship to take my reporting on climate to a part of the world where the stakes are even higher than in the US. I'll travel to Kenya, Uganda, and Nigeria to meet with a diverse range of farmers, politicians, scientists, and entrepreneurs to see how climate change is affecting their lives and what they're doing about it. In these countries, rural poverty and food security aren't new problems, but climate change threatens to make them worse by increasing temperatures and disrupting the seasonal rains on which millions of farmers depend. Thanks to their proximity to the equator and their heavy economic reliance on agriculture, Kenya, Uganda, and Nigeria are among the world's most vulnerable countries to climate change. Now, livestock herders and farmers of mangoes, corn, coffee, plantains, and so much more are eagerly seeking ways to protect their livelihoods. They're planting trees and restoring long-degraded ecosystems. They're fighting for their right to own land. They're experimenting with cutting-edge technologies and they're looking for ways to prevent conflict over natural resources before it becomes deadly. Meanwhile, scientists are scrambling to understand what the future might hold. What does it mean when a global environmental crisis of unprecedented scale explodes across such a complex network of societies? And what does Africa's handling of climate change mean for the rest of the world? Food security in Africa is a fascinating intersection of science, politics, technology, business, and culture, and all the other things that make climate such a rich vein of reporting. So I hope you'll stay tuned and see what I find on this adventure.